Hi, I wanted to do a review of working with uh, Wacom Cintiq 12WX with uh, Zara Extreme Pro. For quite a few years now I've been using a Wacom Intuos 2 to do my artwork, my final artwork with Zara Extreme. And uh, so I recently got the Cintiq and I wanted to do a little clip on uh, how it's integrating with my workflow. Okay, so here goes. So one of the reasons that I wanted to make the switch to the Cintiq is that I could see exactly what I'm doing here on the screen as opposed to working on the Intuos tablet and having to look at the monitor. I felt that this would help to speed my production and uh, help me to work faster and better. One of the first things that I had to do was to determine the placement of the tablet in my work area. Uh, I used to have my Intuos over by where people would normally keep their mouse over on the, the right hand side of my keyboard, but that wasn't quite functional for the, the Cintiq, so I decided to put it over here where I actually have this as a, a light table, which uh, someone made for me. I drew some plans. And this fits quite nicely on top of it. It actually brings it a little bit closer to me. And along with the Cintiq, I soon found that what I needed was to get a wireless uh, keyboard. This is a Logitech wireless keyboard. Um, I'll put the specifications for it. It works very well. It's also quite compact in size. They took out the whole center uh, bunch of keys, which had the home and end and insert and the little cursor things, and they incorporated it into the keyboard so that it would be more compact, which is very nice. Now, the, the, the Cintiq has these different function keys over on the left and the right hand side, which is quite nice. Um, there are some scroll bars here. Let's see, some scroll bars. You can go up and down. You can set these for how you want them to be, either universally or how you want them to be for a specific application. Now for Zara, I have it set up in a specific way um, for the various drawing needs and shortcut keys that I would like to use. I think the hardest thing for me was that I was so accustomed to using keyboard sh shortcuts with Zara that uh, these few little, here's uh, one, two, three, four, five, and five over there, that's ten, plus the little scroll bars, which are for like zooming or for panning or what have you. But when I started uh, taking account of all the shortcut keys that I use, it was just way more than 10 little keys and two little scroll bars could accommodate. I mean, even just typing in numbers, like if you want to change the y, the, the, width, of, the width of a line, it, uh, it was just impossible <laughs> to put, you know, you have to do 1.5 or you have to put uh, 2.5. Um, there's uh, control K for cloning, control shift L for the uh, uh, alignment, there were function keys. So actually, even being able to, to uh, assign these different function keys to various things, shortcuts, it just wasn't enough. So I had to have a keyboard over close to my work space so that I could um, have access to it and get all the different shortcut keys that I've memorized. And since I've been using it for so long, it just is uh, very difficult initially to make that switch over from using all the shortcut keys to just using the Wacom Cintiq and using 
the limited number of buttons. So that's been my biggest hang up, I think, in uh, making the switch. I believe that, that from what I've read, people experience about the first month uh, a, a lesser productivity because they're getting accustomed to using the Cintiq. And once they kind of get accustomed to it, and for me, the main thing is the shortcut keys. And once I can kind of get up to speed and get uh, used to using it, it's a little bit like learning how to touch type. And then you go to um, uh, learn a different keyboard layout. Like some of them, someone went from, say, the QWERTY keyboard to the Dvorak or whatever the other type of keyboard is. So that's been kind of the difficulty for me initially is to make that switch over. I had my keyboard shortcuts down. I used to have home row for me was this, uh, my left hand having the first three fingers on function key two, three, and four to go back and forth from the selector tool to the pencil tool to uh, the shape editor. And I go back and forth real quick with that. And then I use my thumb to hit the Alt key and to draw a line with the pencil tool and make it straight. And then I'd hit the F4 to hit the shape editor so I could adjust that, hit the space bar to reset back to the selector key, hold down the control key to you know, do all these different functions. So all that is being a bit of a change but after about a week or so, I'm already experiencing kind of getting back up to speed with my normal production rate. And hopefully, it'll get better. And of course, there's other programs which, uh, such as Photoshop, Painter, uh, Sketchbook, Pro, or things like that for drawing uh, digitally, which was always very difficult for me to do with the Intuos. Whereas now it should be more normal and natural and intuitive using the Cintiq. Okay, so there's a little bit of a review and I hope you found it interesting and informative.